All right, what's up guys? It is Ka Central here, and I'm bringing you guys another little discussion video for you guys today. Um, so sorry I was out for the past couple days. I've been over at my grandparents' house hanging out and all that stuff because, you know, what else can you do over the summer? So I was there for a couple days. But I am back, and yet again, it's time to make another video. Um, and I know this topic's kind of beaten to death by now, and it's kind of getting old, but I've just been keeping this inside me for a while. I've never really talked about it on this channel, so I just thought, why don't I make a discussion video about it, talk about it with you guys. So yeah. Let's just get into it. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about Kingdom Hearts bullshit news. So, again, this topic has been talked about a lot in the Kingdom Hearts community, especially over like the past year and stuff, because the Gamers Join does a lot of videos on these Kingdom Hearts bullshit articles, you know, like kind of make fun of them and stuff. But I've never really talked about it on this channel, and there's a good reason why. I'll get into that in a minute, but let's just talk about it in general first. So Kingdom Hearts bullshit news. Um, again, everyone's talking about it at this point, except me. So, it's just... A thing that everyone kind of hates. Everyone hates these Kingdom Hearts bullshit news articles that get published all the time, and w they usually get published by the same people every time, like the Christian Times, K Drama Stars, I forget the others, and people keep talking about it because they are so full of the most cringiest things you could ever find relating Kingdom Hearts ever. Like, they say a bunch of stuff that does not follow Kingdom Hearts at all. They sometimes call it Kingdom of Hearts. And that's the worst crime you could ever commit to a Kingdom Hearts thing ever. So everyone is just like, oh my god, these are so fucking stupid. Um, and everyone just likes to make fun of them a lot. So that's why mainly people talk about it a lot. Because it's just so funny, so cringy that it's just fun to make fun of. But another reason people like to talk about this a lot is because some gullible people in this community, I know I'm kind of pointing out certain people in here and kind of being me, but it's just the truth. Um, some really gullible people in the Kingdom Hearts community who really are striving for Kingdom Hearts 3, generally, news most of the time, really want to believe these bullshit news articles. So, they go around all over the place and post the shit that they talk about in these articles and they make it like it's true stuff because they see that no one else is talking about it because we all know it's bullshit. But they do not know that, and they try to go around like they've discovered this humongous big thing, and they want these Kingdom Hearts YouTubers to talk about it. And everyone is just like, oh my gosh, are you seriously believing this stuff? So people are really, really desperate for anything news-wise regarding like Kingdom Hearts 3 or Kingdom Hearts in general. So they want to believe these things. And they go around spreading it like it's true. And that's another reason why really people hate these bullshit news articles, because a lot of people believe it. Trust me, if you go to the comment section of any other bigger Kingdom Hearts YouTuber than me, because I'm, my comment sections are not really that active, um, if you go to any other ones, like HMK, Skyward Ring, The Gamers Join especially, um, you'll see a lot of people claiming that this stuff is real, like, oh my goodness, I found the release date for Kingdom Hearts 3, oh my goodness, I saw all this leak of all the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3, all this stuff. Sorry, I hit the mic. Um, but... They see all this stuff, and they just spread it around. But people are kind of wise enough to it and know it's bullshit by now, so thank God for that. But I don't see really many people talking about why they exactly make these bullshit news articles all the time. Because they're just so cringy and they just like to make fun of it a lot, but I don't really see many people explain why they're doing it to the people who watch all these videos and stuff. I guess it's kind of self-explanatory, but I really do not think many people in this community know why these people are doing this stuff. And I think the reason why is one of the reasons why we should just ignore this stuff altogether. So let me go into that. So get ready to get your minds blown because we're going into some scandalous territory here. So the reason they make these bullshit news articles is because of money. That's the reason why. I know a lot of people can kind of just assume that, but if anyone doesn't know, that's the reason why they're making this. Ad revenue. Because if you go to one of these news articles, bullshit news articles, like on the Christian Times, Games, Drama Stars, anything like that, um, you will see that ads pop up like crazy all over the thing. There's like an ad here, an ad there, ad everywhere. Because that's what they want. That's why they're making these news articles to get people to give them more ad revenue because they want more money than anything these journalist companies do it's slimy it's evil it's really really pisses me off but that's what they do and i can't really do anything to stop it so those are so many ads on there because they want that money from you and you ever wonder why when you kind of look this up there are so many kingdom hearts bullshit news articles there's like hundreds of them 
because they spam their site with all these bullshit news articles to get people clicking on them with these all these clickbait titles and all these clickbait tags and stuff so people can click on all of these bullshit news articles and get more ad money than ever. And people keep clicking on them because they have such enticing names, kind of clickbait titles, you know? So people keep on clicking on them and they keep on getting more money and they see that this kind of system is working. So they just keep on keeping on and they will keep on doing that until that dead horse is beaten to a fucking pulp, man. And that's why you still see a lot of them pop up nowadays because people keep on clicking on them and that gives them more money and they see that that system's working so let's just keep on going with it. And the reason that they're so cringy and all this stuff is because they do not give two single fucks about what they're doing. They could not give less of a fuck if they tried. They do not care about the Kingdom Hearts community. They do not care about actual Kingdom Hearts news at all. They just want money. And if the article is so much full of inaccuracies and bullshit, they don't care. They already got your ad revenue, so they're just gonna keep on going. So that's the main reason why there's so many of them, they're so awful, and they just pop up all over the place because that's what they want. They want money. They do not care if it's bullshit. They just want your money. So that's the main reason why they're doing it. But here's a secret little method for you guys to help you avoid Kingdom Hearts 3 bullshit news. And I think maybe you people have already told you about this, but here's the secret method. Do not look up Kingdom Hearts 3 on Google and go to the News tab. That is the worst thing you can do in this situation. So what these sites are banking on is Google's algorithm, because Google's news algorithm does not take into account the reputability of the site. You can't program that into the thing. That's impossible, really. Um, it does not care what's in the article and if it's true or not. All it cares about is the tags and the title of it. If it has a certain name that people are searching up in the title, like Kingdom Hearts 3, it will pick it up because it has that name in it. It doesn't care if it's reputable or if it's true. It just picks that up and posts it on the news tab. And a lot of people apparently in the Kingdom Hearts community are kind of buying into that stuff. So they keep on using Google's algorithm to get more people into these bullshit news articles. So that's how they bank on you guys. So do not look up Kingdom Hearts 3 and go to the news tab on Google. That's a sin. If you do that, that is the worst thing you can do in this situation. Another thing you can do is only check kh13.com and kh13.com because those are the two most reputable sources for Kingdom Hearts news on the internet. I mean, IGN does post the true stuff that goes on in the Kingdom Hearts community, um, but they do not really include all the details of it. So if you want the full 100% story of it, go to kh13.com or kh13.com. Those are the two new sites you can absolutely 100% trust. So let's get into the video on why we should stop just talking about Kingdom Hearts bullshit news altogether, because this is the only video I'm going to be making on it. Ever. Really. So why I think we should stop talking about it is because you're giving them what they want. You're giving them the attention that they want and the ad revenue that they want by people visiting these bullshit news articles. I mean, there's so many of them, and they just, like, spam you with it. But still, people, when they see these Kingdom Hearts bullshit news videos that peop the Kingdom Hearts YouTubers make, they want to go and find these things and look at the cringy stuff in it and get all the details for themselves on how awful and stupid these things are. So they go to these Kingdom Hearts news sites and they keep giving them what they want. They want the ad revenue and people just keep on going and they just look at it and like, oh, that's funny, but you're giving them exactly what they want, attention and the money. So we should just stop talking about it altogether, just ignore it ever existed because that's the best thing you can do to get rid of it. Just stop clicking on it. And if you see one of these videos made by these Kingdom Hearts YouTubers talking about bullshit news and you want to go do research for yourself, don't because you're giving them exactly what they want, all right? They'll just keep on doing it until they just, people just stop doing it, all right? So. Do not go and research this stuff, do not look at it, just ignore it, just pretend it never existed, alright? So, yeah, just do that. I may be talking directly to the gamers join here, but I have nothing against the guy. He's a cool guy, he can talk about whatever he wants, I can't tell him what to do with his channel. So, he can keep on doing that if he wants, but I'm just afraid that keep on talking about it is not making the situation any better. But thank god he doesn't link the articles in the description, because that's giving them exactly what they want. But, you are kind of talking about it in there, and giving them attention, so... Just ignore it altogether and everything will be just grand old dandy, alright? So that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. I know this kind of topic's been beaten to death and I know this video won't get many views, but I just wanted to talk about it because I've never really talked about it before. So yeah, 
Uh, make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion on this stuff. What do you think about Kingdom Hearts 3 bullshit news? Do you think it should go away? And do you look at these articles a lot and cringe at them? So make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video because that would be really awesome if you did. This has been K Central, and I will see you guys later. Bye!